In this problem, we're told a 0.145 kilogram baseball pitched at 35 meters per second is hit on a horizontal line drive straight back at the pitcher at 56 meters per second. If the contact time between the bat and the ball is 5.0 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds, calculate the force assumed to be constant between the bat and the ball. So before we solve this problem, I think the first thing we should do is just write down the given, and then based off the given, we're going to figure out how to solve it. So the first thing we know is going to be the mass of our baseball, which is going to be 0.145 kilograms. And then we're given two different velocities. We're given the velocity of it when it's pitched and then the velocity of when it's hit back. So I'm going to call this V sub 1 and V sub 2. So V sub 1 is going to be when it's pitched. And so this is going to be 35 meters per second, right? And then this one is going to be when it's hit back, right? V sub 2 is going to be 56 meters per second. But they can't both be positive. And the reason this is because we have to take into account direction. So if we have a line like this, imagine this is when it's pitched, right? So we're going to say the direction, if this is the pitcher, and then this is the batter, right? So this is our batter, right? B and P. So we're going to say towards the pitcher is positive. So this is going to be positive, but the 35 meters per second is going to be negative, right? Because if we imagine like the origin, right? This graph, it goes to the left, it's negative, to the right, positive. So we're going to say this minus, or this 35 meters per second is negative. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to keep that negative. And then that's going to be that. And then what else do we know? So we know the contact time between the bat and the ball is going to be 5, right? So I'm just going to call it time 5.0 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. So we're trying to find the force, right? So we're solving for force. So I'm just going to say F equals question mark. So how do we solve for this? So there's a few things you should know. You should know that the change in momentum, right? I'm just going to call it delta P, P is momentum, is equal to f average times delta t right so i recommend this is something you memorize this is just the force right this is what we're solving for f average times the change in time you can also write this another way just by saying uh force is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time right this is another way you can write it this is another formula you should memorize but keep in mind what momentum is momentum is equal to mass times velocity so you can find the momentum of something if you take the mass and multiply it by velocity but notice that this is the change in momentum. So if we're solving for the change in momentum, if we assume the mass is constant, in this case it is, it's just going to be the change in velocity. So it's just uh, delta P is equal to M times delta V. So the change in momentum equals the mass times the change in velocity. And if you notice here, right, if we just plug this in for this, M times delta V over the change in time. And if you look at all these variables, these, this is what we're given, right? We're given a mass of our baseball. We're given two different velocities, right? We have initial velocity, v sub 1, and then this velocity. And then we also have uh, the time, right? The time it's going to be in contact. So all we have to do is just plug it in, and we'll be able to solve. So force is going to be equal to the mass, which is 0.145 times. And then you want to take your final velocity, v sub 2 minus v sub 1, right? That's going to give you your change in it, right? Delta v equals v sub 2 minus v sub 1. So V sub 2 is 56, and then it's minus minus 35, which is just adding 35. So I'm just going to write plus 35. And then we're dividing this uh, by the time, which is 5.00 times 10 to the minus 3. Right? So if you go ahead and do this, 0.145 times 56 times, or 56 plus 35, divided by 5.00 times 10 to the minus 3. If you go ahead and do that, plug in your calculator. You're going to get 2639. And keep in mind what we measure force in. It's measured in Newtons. So 2639. I'm going to round it just to 2400 or 2640. So 2640 Newtons. And then we should also specify the direction this is going. It's going to be towards the pitcher, right? Because they're hitting it backwards at the picture. At the pitcher, right? Because it's going towards the batter. He hits it back at the pitcher. So towards the pitcher. Right, so this right here is going to be your answer, so 2640 newtons, and so yeah, that's going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.